Good morning. May I help you? Yes. I bought a lottery ticket at another store. And I need to know if I can redeem it here. What are you smiling at? I think I saw you on TV. If you would, just tell me if I can redeem this lottery ticket here. It was you, wasn't it? You were on that talk show, talking about the Bible. I hope you're not one of those fundamentalists. You're from the Jesus Seminar, aren't you? First, you tell me if I can redeem this lottery ticket here. Then I'll tell you if I'm a member of the Jesus Seminar. It says you bought this ticket at store number 376. That's one of our stores. So, I can redeem it here, right? Well, you could. Could? What does that mean? I have the winning numbers, right? Let me check 23, 46, 16, 32, 41, and 9. Those are the winning numbers. So, I'm a winner, right? Well, in a manner of speaking. Why are you being so negative? Either I won or I didn't. I won, didn't I? Well, you had the winning numbers. But... But what? What prevents me from collecting? Well, according to the publication, your odds against winning this lottery were 43 million to 1. So? So, it's highly unlikely that you would have the winning lottery ticket. But you just confirmed that I have the winning numbers. Yes. So, regardless of the odds, I am the winner, right? Well, if I use your own arguments, there is no way you could be a winner. What arguments? Your arguments against the miracles of Jesus. What does that have to do with whether I won the lottery? You dismissed out of hand the biblical descriptions of the miracles of Jesus as myth because you said it is highly unlikely that miracles could possibly happen. Yes, I did, but... Well, your chances of getting struck by lightning are less than your odds of winning the lottery. So, using your own arguments, things that are highly unlikely probably didn't happen. Yes, but I have the winning ticket right here. Your winning lottery ticket is no better documented than the biblical accounts of the miracles of Jesus. So, there is no way we can say that you actually won the lottery. I knew it. You're one of those radical fundamentalists. Forget it. I'll redeem my lottery ticket at another store. Are you sure your lottery ticket even exists? Based on a play by Bob Snook. Conditions for use, do not sell any part of this script, even if you rewrite it. Pay no royalties, even if you make money from performances. You may reproduce and distribute this script freely, but all copies must contain this copyright statement.